Technology. In this video we will quickly help you troubleshoot your Shield Technology recorder. If you are having problems connecting from the app using the QR code. This video is only for DVRs and NVRs that use the SuperLive Plus app. First from the app, identify the type of error occurring. The most common error when having connection problems is entering the wrong username or password. If this is the case the error will specifically say username or password error. The default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but if you change the password you must make sure you are entering the password correctly. Be aware that both the username and the password are case sensitive. If both the username and password are correct then you may have a connection issue. When you have a connection issue, the app stays at connect to device. Until it times out, then you receive the error that says, fail to connect to device. Please check network and device. If you receive this error, the first step is to check your network, starting from your internet modem. Go to your modem or router and make sure the status is online. This is usually signified by a solid green light. You can also verify by checking that other devices can connect to the internet. If your internet is working properly the next step is to check the cable connections. Shield technology DVRs and NVRs are not wireless, so there must be an Ethernet cable connected to the back of the unit. Make sure this cable is connected to your network. If connected properly, you should see a solid green light and a flashing orange light from the LAN port on the back of the unit. If your recorder is properly connected to the network, the next step is to check the network settings on the recorder. For connectivity, there are two important settings that must be enabled, which are DHCP and NAT. If you press the network status button, located second from the right on the taskbar, you can check the Ethernet port status, the value should be online. If we disconnect the network cable or if there is a problem with the connection, the status will change to offline. Here you can also find the IPv4 DHCP status, which should say successful if the unit was assigned an IP address. If we scroll down we can also find the NAT status, which now says failed because we disconnected the network cable. We can check the DHCP and NAT settings by pressing the start button, selecting settings, then selecting network. Under the TCP IP section there should be a check mark next to obtain an IPv4 address automatically. This enables DHCP for IPv4, if using IPv6 you can also enable the corresponding checkbox. Under the NAT section, the checkbox next to enable must be selected for QR code connection to work. The NAT status will change to disabled if we remove the check mark. If all the settings are correct and the Ethernet cable is plugged in the back, you should see online for the corresponding Ethernet port. You should see successful for the DHCP status, and you should see successful for the NET status. Back on the SuperLib Plus app, remember that both the username and the password are case sensitive. For the admin user, the A must be entered in lowercase. Some devices automatically make the first letter uppercase, if admin is entered with capital A you will receive the username or password error. If you have gone through all the steps but you still can connect from the app, then you may have to power cycle the unit by turning it off and back on. This will force your router to assign a new IP address to the unit. If that doesn't solve your problem, you may also try closing and reopening or reinstalling the app on your device. Sometimes catch data cause connectivity issues. As a last resort you may have to contact your internet provider to help with port forwarding or firewall settings that may be blocking the app from accessing your network. We hope this video was useful and you found a solution, thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Shield Technology. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and visit shieldcctv.com for updated information on Shield Technology products.